The, mo- the most interesting one, I think, for today is from the University of Exeter Heritage Collections because um, this is a little bit old, tw- the 27th, 27th of October, World Day for Audiovisual Heritage. And they, they tweeted three tweets. And the first one, which I'll, I'll, ret- I'll retweet that now, uh, has got a photograph of cassettes. These are audio cassettes, numbered. You can see numbers 4 to 15, 31 to 41, various other ones, um, some labels. And then they go on and say... Uh, they've got photograph. I think it's where they keep the journals. We used to keep the printed journals. There's still some printed journals. In it's sort of in the basement of the library, and they say they've got so many VHS and so forth. But I think they've also got DVDs down there. I'm, I might go and have a look over lunchtime and report back in uh, in the in the two 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 between two and four. Um, see if I can find out a bit a bit more um, because I think if they are including DVDs and CDs well if they can if they got if they got to cassette tape you would think that CDs and DVDs are also part of the heritage collection but Exeter Central Library. I know it's a library. It's not a. It's not. Well, I don't know whether we're getting into museum. Um, there is a. There is a. Digital Humanities Lab, where they. Scan documents. They certainly scan documents, and they've got a radio studio, or it's. It's not called a radio studio, but a voice recording place, with video cameras. So quite what they include and what they call it, um, it's a it's a it's a, a library tending towards a museum. I think. Say that for the moment. Anyway, um, as I said, I'll, I'll explore that a bit more and come back to it. And I've brought some, I'm going to say relics. Artifacts. I'm going to claim the CDs as artifacts. We'll see what people say about say about that. Anyway, going back to Twitter, I I followed the the tag from the University of Exeter Heritage Collection and um, World Day for Audiovisual Heritage. This was the twenty seventh. But uh, that's coming, come, coming into the we don't know Twitter feed at this time, and one of the, one of the things they're talking about um, Joe Tarsia and the Sound of Philadelphia. So, I, I've re- have I retweeted that already? No, I've retweeted that. So you can find that W E N O T N O or Look for the tag World Day for Audiovisual Heritage. And so, uh, which one is which? This should be, yeah, this is uh, Joe Simon. (laughs) 